uh, two minutes to three minutes, then I will not allow anyone to join the session. Okay, good morning to all. Uh, today, uh, all of you know that uh, we are going to discuss on uh, STO, intra STO uh, with delivery, how we are going to handle intra STO with delivery. So last session we had, uh, we had discussion like uh, intra STO without delivery. It's a plane, like how we are managing uh, goods from one supplying plant to demand plant, how we raise the STO process in real time. And also we have discussed about uh, the business process, how it takes place, everything we had a discussion. Whoever missed out last session, so the session is already released in YouTube, you can watch it. And if any question is there, you just raise in the group. Okay, so let it be more interactive session. So I will share my screen and I'll start discussion. I'll, I'll start discussion on business process. So once it is clear, then we'll go into SAP screen. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, sir. Yes, your name? Yeah, Kishore. Kishore, yes, Kishore. Now uh, you just told that uh, the video has been released in the YouTube. So you just tell me the YouTube channel name, like. Uh... Uh, it's in my name only, Prashant Shetty only. Prashant Shetty, okay. okay. So if uh, you're, are you there in the SAP Guru Guidance uh, group? If not, I will send you the link. Okay. No, so, sir, not there, so Okay, yes. you ask uh, Akshay to uh, send a link so you can join join our, in our group, okay? Sure, sir. It's, it's a, uh, I have uh, created this for the globally, okay? So whoever interested to join, they can join us and they mm -hmm. can take the benefit of every Sunday session at 10 a.m. Okay. okay. It's absolutely free of cost, nothing, to, nothing I'm charging, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, just a minute. Okay, sorry, uh, there was a disturbance in the background. So I took some seconds, few seconds. Okay, uh, let me discuss. Okay, uh, this should be more interactive session. Whoever want to add any uh, inputs or want to add any business process which you come across, or if you're very new to S STO process, then no issues. There will be a separate questions will be there. Q&A session will be there. Once I cover the session at uh, 10.45, uh, I'll try to cover in 30, 35 minutes of session. Okay, maximum I'll try out. So if any question is there, you just make a note of it. So write down somewhere and then at the end you can raise any questions. So I'm ready to answer it or any in our group who is already experienced in ST or intra ST or delivery, right? They also can add it, okay? So here we'll have all kind of experienced people, aspirants and also looking for some opportunity people, okay? So different kind of setup people are there so you can take the advantage of the same, okay? So let me talk about first business process, how STO process will work and how this intra STO with delivery will work out. Okay. SAP, MM, okay, STO. So anyone can uh, tell about the uh, process like what we do in STO, why we are calling as intra STO. You can unmute yourself and you can start answering that there is no like kind someone has to explain nothing like that. You just unmute, you just tell your name and you just start explaining about the intra STO. Yeah, this is Madhu. Uh, yes, Madhu. So STO is nothing. Uh, STO based on STO is nothing but like stock tra uh, transfer order. And okay. whenever the material has been has to be transferred from a one org organization or like one warehouse to another warehouse, okay. uh, we use the STO, is that? Okay. So then another, another question for you, Madhu, like what is the difference between transfer posting and STO? Uh, I think transfer posting is more towards within the or warehouse. STO mm -hmm. is more like uh, transfer between the another warehouse from different locations. Okay. Even if it is a uh, different location, is it not possible to use transfer posting? 
uh, I, I need would, to check. Have, have you tried it? No, right? I didn't try it. I didn't try it that one. Okay. Okay, try out if the location is a different <clears throat> plant is different, how this transfer posting will work out. Okay. So just explore it. Okay. So anyone want to add other than Madhu? Uh, it's good, Madhu. Thanks. Thanks for adding some information over here, right? So any, anyone want to add more than this? Why we go for intra STO instead of transfer posting in real time business. So the plant application and all just keep aside. So real time business, how it works. Uh, I presume this is Gautam here. Yes, Gautam. Yeah, the stock transfer order is like it is the transfer of material between two plants. When you transfer one material from one plant to the other plant, in that there are two processes like uh, the, uh, in the issuing plant will issue the material and the receiving plant will receive the material in between the transit phase is there. So when the material is issued, the transit phase is not been recorded that material has been issued from one plant, but during the transit phase, who is responsible for it or where is the material? So that we need to take care. And I think uh, this uh, transfer, this transfer posting kind of thing is actually applicable. Okay, good, good one, good one, Gautam. So we started with a uh, good uh, like uh, inputs and you should end up with the same uh, way, okay? When you talk about transit and all, right? So mm -hmm. try to complete uh, the, uh, the end conversation. If anyone asks in the interview, if they ask mm -hmm. all these things, right? So the starting, how you start with the in transit uh, concept. So end up with a proper uh, uh, the input, okay? Because okay. the person okay. who is listening will see like how you are going to explain the starting and end, okay? That's okay. good. That's good input uh, from you, uh, Gautam. Anyone want to add here? L let let's. I will add more upon that. Yeah, hello, sir. Jivan, yes, sir. Yes, Jivan, go ahead. Yeah, basically, both are all functionally or same, since transfer posting and STO, where mm -hmm. STO gives an advantage towards transfer posting to allow us a condition type, sir. We can add a condition type or anything, costing and all. This gives advantage over the transfer posting while okay. doing STO. Can I give any proper example on that you're talking about? conditions right so yeah, can you exactly. give appropriate example what condition type you are referring whether it is yeah. a pricing condition type or you're talking about any delivery condition uh, delivery type or which is the proper so both we can do sir for example uh, if, if we are transferring one plant to another plant if our company vehicles got stuck or something damaged so we are uh, we are uh, arranging a different vehicle sir so we can add condition type to that uh, sto po order sir for example, uh, this uh, flight and also we can charge, we can add and we can transfer it, sir. So this this whole uh, scenario we can do in STO process, sir. Okay, you're talking about uh, transportation, yeah. part, routing, yeah. routing determination, and also yes. whether it is a through freight or is a normal goods through truck or maybe ship, yes. ship through what they're transferring the stock. So all this will be uh, added in the STO, STO process, process, right? Yeah. So yeah. that can be tracked easily, okay? So the major, the, the what is the major difference? Like why uh, client will not go with that uh, transfer posting? Instead of that, they will take STO. The, the major thing is not, yeah, Gautam added a few things uh, we can track uh, through a transit, okay? Uh, but uh, I'm not that much great to, uh, like great about the concept, okay? I, I need more clarity on why exactly client need uh, STO process instead of transfer posting. This is a major question I could see. Many people are like asking, so can, can you explain uh, Prashun why this is required? So more inputs required from others, please add it here. Also, so we can have financial entries for in HP. Okay, question. that is also good. Financial entry will be there. So, financial entry is not there in a, a transfer posting. Uh, is there, sir? Oh, basically, uh... yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Financial entry will be there in both, right? Transfer posting yeah. and STO. So, what is the major difference of financial entry in STO and uh, trans transfer posting? We can have this uh, uh, invoicing and all in STO, sir. Okay, invoicing will be there in STO. 
Okay, invoicing is required for interest you? No, it's not required. For inter, it's equal. Okay, inter is required. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Okay, can you elaborate more why inter is required invoice and intra is not required invoice? Can you elaborate more? So because basically intra is uh, belongs to different company codes. Right? We should okay. have billings. Whereas in intra, we, we are depend it's on the same company code. That billing is not required. If you want to monitor any billing types and all, you can go okay. for this performa invoice. Correct. Here we'll go with the performa invoice. Okay. Can you give more about what is performa invoice and what is normal invoice? What is the difference? Why we need to raise performa invoice? Is it necessary in uh, interest you? Is it mandatory to uh, raise any performa invoice? No, no, sir. It's it's completely depend on business requirement. How they are, how they want to track the yeah, yes. invoice concept, right? So whether yes. we are any we are doing any payment uh, process here in the company code, we are dealing with any, any transfer, right? Do we uh, go with any uh, the transactions wise? Is there anything that the valuation will change, and where exactly this valuation will hit in which company, which plant? Is it in a supplying plant or a demand plant? The valuation part. How you are going to manage the credit and debit of the uh, the material which you are going to supply from the supplying plant? Uh, it will hit uh, this. Uh, when we do good issue, it will hit the accounts. Uh, Okay, you are doing any goods issue? Where we are doing goods issue, Jivan? No, VL zero to N. Okay, VL zero to N. We are doing the goods issue. So which which plant we are doing goods issue? Is it a it's supply? A su supply plant. Okay, supply plant. Supply plant. We are doing a goods issue at that time. Which account is going to hit here? In technically, if you speaking, what all the account is it's going to hit here? A transaction event key. As you know, transaction event key, right? Yeah. What is the account it's going to hit here? GBB. Is it? Yeah, no, BSS, BSS. Okay, BSX is the account it's going to hit plus and minus, right? Yeah. So where plus will be happening when minus is going to happen? It will, uh, minus will be happening in this uh, supplying plant. Okay, supplying plant will be minus and demand plant will be plus. plus. Why plus and minus in demand and supplying plant? The reason behind here, so goods are issue, we are issuing the goods sir. that means we are removing the stock from the supplying plant. Okay, value is going to decrease, decrease here. here, decreasing the value here, and increasing the value in demanding plant. Demanding plant. Okay. okay, good. So I got a lot of things from uh, each each of you like uh, Madhu. I think who answered it initially? I sorry, I also got your name. Uh, it's Madhu. Yeah, Madhu, Madhu, then Gautam, then Jeevan. Okay, thanks for adding uh, many information, like inputs here. So this is the overall process. Okay, so what I, why I am asking these questions here because it should, uh, you guys should answer. Okay, not like I am going to explain everything. Okay, that will not help, help, okay, help everyone. Okay, so that's the reason. Uh, even I know the concept. Even I don't know something in STO. Interest. There are a lot of things are there to learn. Okay, even I don't know many things about the routing part and all. So if any, yeah, Jivan was talking about uh, if anything is breakdowns happens. Okay, uh, in between, how you are going to uh, handle that situation? So how we can handle this in SAP system? Okay, let me. So all you guys unmute, mute yourself. Okay, if anyone want to talk. So then you just unmute, okay? So a few things, even I am also not, not that much great to uh, explain here, but whatever I know, the concept wise, the real time business and how we can handle that in SAP, I'm going to explain here, okay? So before going with that, I will give more information on uh, the process, okay? So that process will, you can able to sync with the SAP system, okay? So what is SAP interest you? Okay. SAP intra, MM, interest process will be there, okay? What are all the prerequisites we should have before creating a STO? So I'm not going to configure and all now, okay? Just I'm going to explain you what and all things to be handled, managed before raising a STO, okay? First thing that, first thing is that you should know which is a supplying plant, okay? And which is demand plant. Two things you should know. Okay, now I'll go a little more about uh, demand plant. See, demand plant uh, where see, these, these both plants are coming under one company code, I will say, uh, so RE01, it's a company code. 
okay under this company code there are two uh, plants are coming multiple plants are coming okay not saying about two there are multiple so in that one plant is like r02 another plant is, plant is like r04 okay so these pl two plants are handling a similar process like kind of a whatever material available here okay is also available here okay just consider this is as demand plant this is a supplying plant okay example r04 is having a material called uh, i can say take a sheet sheet metal or something i'll take a common example or a, some uh, like spark plug or some different different product i am going to uh, mention here so in case these products are already available but the stock is already uh, like uh, used for some other process it is stock is going to uh, they need some stock from the supplying plant okay example now see ra04 is running some business okay they have their own business process they are handling something assembly or maybe they they are doing some manufacturing or maybe they are the uh, packaging uh, services they are just uh, with a uh, customer they are dealing with, with the packaging part so they are not do doing any st storage part okay in just imagine they are not doing any storage the warehouse is managed in ra02 the big warehouse is available in ra ra0 just take domestically if you take uh, the ra02 is in hyderabad and ra04 is in bangalore okay so hyderabad they have like uh, some facility where they got some area just for less cost okay then they are managing that warehouse completely in re02 so again that warehouse will be managed with what they they will have multiple vendors right so how the material will be procured maybe vendors are belongs to only hyderabad area so they will take all the metals from vendor and they'll store it in their warehouse or maybe store location now re02 is located in bangalore I just take it mg road okay so these they don't have much bigger warehouse to store all the stocks okay what they can do is they, they daily basis regular basis or maybe weekly basis they can transport from r 0 to r 0 4 they can transport through truck or the any media or even whatever you just imagine so that can be handled to get the stock to r 0 4 and here we'll have a more customers bangalore is dealing with many customers to fulfill the, the requirement, okay? It's called replenishment. Replenishment will take it from R02. We'll take the stock from R02 to, to plant to R04 and business is more on, more in Bangalore, okay? So we are not stocking much here. We are just taking uh, the goods from here to here. Then immediately we are raising a sales order and we are issuing the goods from the stock, okay? And then we are reaching that to the customer. This is a business process normally we'll handle in case of there is no proper facility available in. Okay, this is the STO. So if anyone asks why we need to handle the STO process, you have to explain like this way. It's not like uh, there is a plant like a uh, thousand, thousand hundred is there. We are dealing with thousand and thousand hundred. We'll create delivery like this. Then okay, uh, there will be a uh, VL zero to N. We'll do PJ. Then uh, uh, that plant will do PJ. Nothing, not like that. That is not professional. Okay. If you are an experienced person and have a eight plus or 10 plus experience in another domain and you have some end user experience, then you want to become a consultant, then you should know how to present it. The represent the business scenario is always important. I always stress people, okay, stress SAP experience like don't depend on only application knowledge. So application can be handled by anyone. So copy paste job is easy, difficult. Anyone can copy and paste it, right? Is it required that much of talent? No. So how to handle the business is required more talent. How you are going to manage required from the client. The client need this, 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 how you are going to configure, how you are going to manage complete application and how you are going to deliver the things to production system. Okay, this is the overall process I want to uh, convey here, just how we are doing intra to and business way. Now I'm talking with application wise. Okay, now application wise, I'm going to take some technical terms STO, so intra. Okay. So before you are handling like RA02 and RA04 plant, two plants, first of all, you should have a material in both uh, plants. Okay. It should be extended. Okay. That, is, that will be there in the real time. 
okay without that you are not you cannot be able to handle it right so example you are talking about implementation time implementation time then you have to handle all this from the scratch okay if they don't have a sto process you have to configure everything sto process intra or inter whatever if they are looking for de with delivery you should configure with delivery if they want only without delivery okay you configure with the without delivery that is a process to be handled but this is not like in a support project in support project already they have implemented in sap it is more to production already they are using sap with without delivery they are managing as of now just imagine without delivery the process is handled in production now the requirement will come to the change team there will be changes will be done right once implementation is done so that is not uh, like uh, they are using for longer time after one year or two year new requirement will come like we want sto with delivery then this will be like called major task is what for customer uh, sorry functional consultant will take the customization request okay we'll work on customization and we'll handle all the changes and we'll do the product uh, movement to the from development quality production we are going to do this okay this is a process handled so do, don't get confused when you when you get interview with this kind of questions like how you are going to handle intra sto for the company which is already running from last four to five years so don't say like okay from the scratch we are doing it already it is there data is available in in a lower client just we are customizing we are just changing the required configuration okay i hope it's clear okay then is it this master data is available yes of course because they are doing this material from longer time so that master data will be available vendor also available in production system just we need to handle some other details like what and all things to be done for the intra sto first you should check whether it is ub document type is available or not yeah without delivery also ub is there with delivery what and all things you should do is like shipping tab will not be there in the without delivery concept with delivery shipping tab should be populated in the po screen how we are doing the shipping tab shipping tab need to be handled based on the delivery type so basic thing i think i am talking about delivery type to be handled if it is a intra company then nl and inter sto sorry inter intra sto is nl and inter inter sto nl cc so we are going to manage this delivery type if, if it is already available in uh, sap in case customer says okay client i we don't want standard one we want to create some customized one then you have to make it as a customized one so we are nlc something we will create based on the requirement okay this is the basic thing so any questions you have you just make a note of it and at the end i will give more input on that okay so first of all go without uh, STO, how the process will be done? Okay, first I'll tell you. So first we are raising a STO PO, STO intra. Okay, here majorly we are focusing on supplying plant and demand plant. Okay. So and item category we are using U in intra. But inter, we are not using UB and uh, U. We are using NBS document type. Item category will be blank. So why like that? Because we are using uh, different company code uh, 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 process. Two company code we are dealing with, right? So document type is managed with MB, NB, and here it is UB intra. UB and U is the item category. Here blank is the item category. Okay, and other process it's similar intra and inter. There is no much difference. Only with the delivery type is NL here and here NL CC. And shipping determination, routing, uh, the loading group, transportation group, everything is similar for both. Okay, and in the back end we are managing supplying plant and demand plant linkage. So that is called shipping point. Also, will come into picture. So what is shipping point? Shipping point will come under which uh, area? Anyone can add here. Which which uh, plant? Whether it is a supplying plant or a demand plant? Supplying plant. Sub supplying. Ah, supplying plant. Because the goods is supplying from the supplying plant, then we'll design in a way that okay, what are the shipping point to be assigned? Okay, example, you just take thousand, thousand hundred, thousand two hundred, all belong to one supply, uh, one company code. They're all uh, responsible to supply the goods to another series like two series, three series or four series. 
then for these all supply plant we have to assign a shipping point example 1000 is a supply plant we'll make it as a 1001 as a shipping point 1100 we'll take it as a 1101 and 1201 like that we will suggest like okay keep one number next to that so we'll easily you can understand okay uh, user also easy to uh, handle the things okay whenever 1000 plant is uh, supplying right then they can easily enter 1001 as a uh, shipping point all right so again not required to go and check the spro screen and what is shipping shipping point for the supply plant it's a little like longer time to understand again right so we'll educate we'll manage as a consultant we'll give a solution like okay one number next you just create thousand you are going to create a plant then thousand one will be shipping point to be created that is definition of defining part we'll do that and then we'll assign this to this example okay but all this one shipping point is there that is thousand one then we are uh, using this as one sub shipping point and linking with all the plants. Okay, this is about uh, the basic configuration in the background. Now I'll tell you the process, how we are going to handle the process. Okay, first we will create STO. Okay, then there will be a creation of delivery. What is the delivery? Outbound delivery. Okay, here it is through ME21N. And here we are going to uh, refer purchase order or delivery, then VL10B. Okay, like that you have to learn sales order also. Sales order will be created, then the, here will be sales delivery will be done. Okay, few uh, company they will expect you should know sales order delivery also and PO delivery also. Both uh, scenario you should know at least integration with the sales and uh, uh, delivery part. Okay, because sales team will take in care of uh, creation of sales order and delivery creation. Uh, once the delivery is generated, then, then you should know how to handle the uh, outbound delivery from the sales order. Okay, let's discuss now only with the PO. I'll not touch on sales order. Okay, once delivery is created, okay, you can see the history in PO, right? In PO, you can able to see the delivery number which is generated. You can, uh, from PO screen only, you can go and change the delivery. Or if you want to change manually, then VL02N is the transaction to change the delivery which is already created. Okay, so here we are all doing the process like real time picking will be done. Okay, and picking will be manually done if there is no warehouse managed location. If it is warehouse managed, WM managed sort of location, then you should do picking through TO. There will be transfer order will be raised. From that transfer order, you are going to confirm the transfer order. And once you confirm the transfer, automatically picking will happen in the delivery side. Okay. If it is a WM managed, then there is no uh, option to uh, add it manually. It will be grayed out. Picking uh, uh, quantity will be grayed out. We cannot change it manually. Only you can go run the uh, transaction. There only in the delivery uh, screen only there is option subsequent uh, trans uh, option is there. From there you can uh, create a TO then TO will generate, then immediately picking will happen. Then you can do the PGA, okay? If it is a batch management, it means you should know how to handle the batches when, when you're uh, issuing the goods from the particular location. If they have generic batches, if they have any um, uh, real batches, right? So how the system will handle. And uh, recently uh, I was going through some uh, changes like uh, the client is looking for no batch uh, to be auto populated in a CV screen. So whenever there is no uh, batches available for that particular plant and when receiving uh, in a receiving uh, plant, if there is a batches available, then you have to uh, pick the respective batches like that. That is the process. It's, a, it's an announcement, okay? So don't worry about all this announcement. Just you work on standard, how exactly PJ will be done in a supplying plant. Then once PJ is done, okay, the stock will be transferred as uh, said by Gautam. Okay, stock will be in a transit and we can check the transit stock by MB 5 t transaction. Okay, so I will, again, I will make a note of all the transaction. Okay, I will show you, uh, I will tell you the process. First STO, ME 21 n Then we'll create a uh, delivery, VL10B. Then we'll uh, do the PGA through VL02N. Then after PJ is done, then that will be transit. We can check through report MB5T. 
So there are hundreds of delivery happen on the daily basis, not like one and two that you cannot check, check right? So you can run this report. And also one uh, option is there, example, you have done this ME21N, so you don't know what all the output delivery created on the daily basis. So you cannot go and check each and every POS. Then there is a T code called VL606O. This is for outbound delivery and VL06I for inbound delivery. Okay, we, here we do uh, PGA and here we do PGR post codes is received. Okay, this is a report where you can find a list of uh, delivery by passing the shipping point. You just uh, pass shipping point, then you can get the list or you can pass any document date or maybe uh, if you have any open, uh, like uh, if it is a status is called A is like uh, uh, still it is open and B is like partially completed and C is completely delivery is uh, PJ is done. So you can filter out based on the status also through this report. Okay, so that you have to educate user how to handle the reports. As a consultant, you should know all the transactions which is belong to delivery related. Okay, once you track, then okay, definitely the goods is issued and okay, transport is done. Now we received a stock in a receiving plant, then we do MyGo. So MyGo screen, what we are going to enter, we can enter OBD number. Just with the outbound delivery re reference, we are doing the goods receipt and the posting will be done. Okay. The stock will be minus from the supplying plant when we do the PJ here. Okay. And when you receive the stock here, it will be plus. Okay. And once you receive the stock here, there is no account document will be there because accounting document will trigger in the supplying plant only plus and minus will happen in the supplying plant. This is about complete business process in intra STU. And interest you just a few changes like uh, uh, document type and item category, and also the delivery type will be NLCC. Okay, there is no much uh, difference. And accounting part will be uh, invoice will be there, building will be done. Okay, once invoice is supp supplied by a company code. Okay, why we uh, we need uh, building in interest you because example you are talking about two company code. I just take it AB01 and AB02. Okay, here the profit and loss will be evaluated on a yearly basis separately and here also separately. Whatever goods, if, if even this company code belong to a company called, okay, some uh, XYZ company. So uh, the total overall business will be under that only, but uh, the audit time they should give uh, the difference process, different process. Example, these are into uh, some manufacturing production company, production based, okay. These are a packaging uh, side business, okay? So packaging, uh, the turnover will be shown separately and production turnover will be shown separately. So if you don't do your invoice billing and all right with the with this process, then uh, they will catch hold of why you're moving this stock from there to here. Because the example here, uh, the business in Hyderabad is different, business, business in Bangalore is different. The cost is different. You cannot do that goal mall, right? So you should show what you're transferring from that here to there. And even you have to pay the GST, whatever thing in the, the, the where, where you are selling it. Okay, you cannot do that shortcut to save some money. Our business, if they want to save money, they can do some loopholes. That's the reason SF has given all the uh, process which should they should follow without any loopholes. Okay, that's the reason 99% loophole will be uh, closed through SAP software. Okay. Okay, this is about business process. Do you have any questions or concern on this? So if not, I will move into SAP screen. Uh, sir, uh, where exactly we use this uh, performer invoice in intra? So in the uh, the receiving plant, I'm not that much sure. You just, I need to check once, but uh, performer invoice, we will uh, we will get issued from the supplying plant and uh, that will be uh, 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 provided in the receiving plan, they will document there. If it is a physical copy to be supplied, right? Uh -huh. Perform invoice, then we will document in the in the receiving plan. Because if any audit happened, they should mm -hmm. able to tell that okay, this stock is received from this this plan, and we have a particular documentation for that. Even we have a outbound delivery hard copy also. OBD hard copy okay. will be there. To One transit, show. right? Yeah, yeah. So whatever we are doing transit, once you receive the stock in. Uh, demand plan. So okay. we'll document this OBD in real time. You can I guess okay. I have handled process in the initial stage of my experience, right? So mm -hmm. we used to handle, uh, you know, even bill of lading also will be there. The VL copy. Okay. That is separate concept. You should know what is bill of lading, how they are handling this uh, documentation part. If it is a STO process. Okay. okay. 
so regarding perform invoice i will check once because i don't want to give uh, wrong info here so how the document will be handled in what way in real time okay so any questions you just tell your name and you can ask question because i can say your name Sorry, right at the end sure. yes kishore thank you kishore yes. you can call me prashun no sir and all okay if you are like not comfortable to call as a prashun okay you can call me but new uh, people you just call me with the name only any questions okay if no questions means i will <clears throat> move into sap because quickly we'll cover because already it is 10:43 i thought of finishing at 10:40 only uh, five minutes late let me log in to sap and we discuss like in uh, moment types in this question answer section or no 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 we are not discussing uh, today uh, moment type moment type will keep separate session where i will explain more about moment type because i know at least 30 to 40 moment types in my no, experience no. i mean to say in this uh, sto moment types i mean to say yes i will explain that i will explain that i will show in sap screen because if i without showing sap you know it will get more confusion i will tell what are the moment types which is happening through a intra sto i will explain okay, okay. Welcome. Okay, first I will uh, use existing only. I'm not going to create new. Just to show you uh, what all the movements will happen and how the process will be handled. So for the intra SDO, so 641 movement type will be used for the uh, while issuing the goods from the supplying plant. Let me take any data from last week. Okay, someone created any data. i can take out some one week data from the system execute okay there is no data in last week i'll take one month data here okay if you are there okay i will take this example okay so i'm going to open this po Okay, this is the final STO pro, uh, screen, right? So you can see all the uh, movements, the delivery created here, history, and uh, the goods issue happened in the supplying plant, and the GR is happened in the receiving plant. So let me open uh, this del delivery document first. Okay, so here you can see this is a delivery document. So picking has happened. How many quantity? Like 50 quantities to be supplied. So picking happened from which plant? Thousand plant, thousand is the supplying plant, and the triple zero one is the location where we have picked. How many quantity? Fifty kgs are supplied. Okay, and here you can see good movement data. Okay, so if you want to see like what are all the movements happened, you can see here six forty one movement, right? And the item category used here is NLN. Okay, so someone used uh, it's a customized one, not standard one. Other than this, you should know the status overview. here it will show like whether picking is done yeah completely picking is done okay then after completing the scenario like confirmation also done here right then goods movement is completed if it is like uh, not at process then it will show as a if it is partially processed means in the sense if the quantity is 50 number so you are issuing the goods only for uh, some 20 picking is done then 30 will be available right still so then that time it will be showing as a partially processed if it is completely processed 50 kg and 50 kg is issued and supplied then completely processed okay then here you can see the document flow if you see this icon fourth icon click on this you can able to see the complete document flow okay the picking request uh, happened when which date then how this transfer processing is done then gr is done okay so let me show one complete scenario quickly i will run the scenario okay in sap i'll open a uh, new screen okay me 21n so i'll take the data from here only so here i'll tell you the difference see 1100 uh, 1002 and 1000 these two are the 
this is a demand plant this is a supplying plant okay if it is a standard sa uh, standard po then it will show as a vendor but in sto process it will show as a supplying plant okay under this 1000 company these two company uh, plants are coming and how to check the stocks available or not just uh, take this material and go to mmb just pass the material and execute it so whatever plants available in that right it will show you so 1000 plant we have how many quantity 30 and 1002 we have 70 so these are 70 quantity we have received from the majorly from the 1000 plant if it is through sto how to see that whether these all 70 quantity came through sto or through normal gr then you can check through metal moments here see 101101 here some 50 20 70 kg we received through which transaction uh, through sto only because you can see 641 and 101 if you find 641 then definitely it's a sto somewhere it is issued then you are received in this location okay 50 20 you're just matching it it's getting matched okay now i'll create a po by referring existing view only okay so i'm going to create a new view i'll copy here thousand okay i'll first ch change the document type as ub see once i select this document type ub then you are getting the supplying plant right so this is a configuration in the back back end so i'll take thousand plant and a thousand company code thousand purchase organization everything i'll take it from here only then material i'll copy from here item grade as u if you select here you can able to see the category details u is for stock transfer okay if you don't select this as a ub if you select nb then you can find many item category in this option okay example i'm going to take one kg because if i do one kg uh of uh, uh, like goods issue and all right so you'll have a proper value uh, which going to hit and all right i can able to i, I can show it okay 1002 okay so it is saying some not possible to determine the shipping okay so see if it is not possible then the back end the configuration is not proper all right somewhere uh, it is not configured properly some uh, it was posted on uh, 7th of this month but later someone disturbed it okay so let me take any existing data which i can use it quickly because from the scratch it is it will take longer time to configure and do it okay let me open this view okay this is the same only right so i will take some other example from the previous month because many data we'll, we have already created in the previous month. So we can take it from there only. I'll remove these details. We'll take, remove this, okay, execute. Okay, let me take this example view. Okay, quantity purchase order data. Okay, so I will use this material let me try whether the shipping tab will trigger or not. Eight twenty one n thousand hundred thousand plant here. I'll use it as a UB here. Stock transfer. It's asking for material. Enter the material. Okay. I think shipping is not possible. Somewhere thousand is got disturbed. Okay. Let me try without thousand. Some other plant which is already configured. Jivan, do you have any example of interest you in the system? Which I can refer quickly. I don't I don't remember sir. I don't no, think I so. Should, no, I should this is... Let me take uh, example from last. I'll not 
not use thousand hundred and I'll remove this and I'll execute. Let's see this. Quantity plant which order. Okay, let's try this. Okay, this is a different plan. Okay, db2 and sdb1 because standard someone will change here and there. So let's see whether this customized one will work or not. So just give me a second to create a PO. May 21N. So instead of creating each and everything, I can copy directly this PO. Okay. So just I'll go here in the right side. I can copy the PO and I can create a STO without adding a few details. Like uh, simply just add here and everything will get copied. Not possible to determine shipping data for tube. Summer uh, data got disturbed. Okay. Wait, let me check SPRO setting only. So in the back end, you have to check metal management, purchasing. Then here, purchase order. I think this will be good. I think I don't think any problem with the document type. Let me go to shipping. Shipping, shipping. Okay, here logistic execution. Then shipping. And here I need to check basic function shipping uh, functions. Configure global shipping data. Okay, this is all good. No issues here. Let me try shipping point determination. Define shipping, uh, design shipping point points. Let me try here. So search this plant SDP1 and SDP2. Okay. So go to this position. Plant is this. Okay. So here. I don't see any supplying plant with SDP2 or P2 V1. Let me try again. This. There is no entry. Let me try to add this entry here. I'll copy the shipping plant. Thousand thousand is there. Okay. Anyway, I'll copy this. This is a shipping point. Okay. Shipping point. Uh, let me check what is the shipping point used here. In the, in the view, I'll go to shipping tab here. Okay, see, uh, see here, SHP1 is maintained for SDP1. Okay, the supplying plant, I should maintain SHP1 to trigger the shipping point. Okay, so I'll here I'll just maintain plant SH, what is that? SD, SDP1, SDP1. I'll add this shipping point. What is that? Okay, SHP1. Okay, so what is this? Manual shipping point, that's okay. We are not going to enter any manually. We, it should determine automatically. I'll save it. While saving this customization, it lasts for a customization request. I'm just saving it here. It should be, a, it will be saved under this request, h 7 k 9 So then we can track it, like what all the changes happened with this request, then that can be moved to the next system. This is a development system, just imagine like that. Okay, shipping point is good. Then routes and all will be, I think it will be good. I don't think there is an issue with the routes. Route elimination. So by delivery type, because we need to check whether delivery type routing is good because see, this is loading group, transportation group, all are maintained, right? The shipping condition, it should be good under uh, this, like a uh, uh, new determination part. So the basic settings we should do is like, whether this supplying plant is linked with the shipping point or not, that should be done. And then, uh, 
uh, the customer number should be there because this plant will be acting as a customer for the supplying plant because they are supplying goods to uh, this customer in the sense this is a plant okay so plant will be uh, treated as a customer so the data is already this will be maintained by sd people the customer master will be handled by sd so that's why this is sd and mm integration always in sto process will be sd mm integration okay so sp12 p1 p1 all this will be uh, coming through a sales side only okay uh, let's try here delivery type nl okay already it is determined okay road determination is there a they have used standard one okay, let me try now okay i'm not sure whether it work or not if any settings are missed so let me try again okay so still shipping is not possible okay, let me try so this is a task okay if you are not able to determine shipping point then how to handle that okay customer does not exist for plant sdp2 see and that is a problem go to delivery 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 right this is not there let me try once copy this go to st03 Okay, this is there. Let me check the control data. Everything is good. I'll check. Try here. It's data controlling. Everything is good. Okay, that's three. Sales information is good. let me try with the for sales details sp12 p1 p1 sp12 p1 then p1 okay control okay then sales data shipping okay 0 01 everything is good partner okay all this good so where to maintain uh, supplying plant that is the thing we should check okay central data i think it's not there let me try some data here Okay, some data is missing let me try again with different uh, scenario so sorry for that because somewhere data is missing i am not able to <coughs> find it out let's check this see when if i find same error then i need to do a complete setup so there's a different plant okay 1562 and 1561 under this company code uh, 0156 let's try with this pu Copy this view. Anything here? Uh, Jivan can add here. Any anything we data missing here? Anything? Can you able to analyze? Uh, we need to see configuration sir from the beginning. Mm. So everything is good only. Somewhere, yeah. someone disturbed the data, so not able to find out because many are using the same server, right? Okay, let me try once again. If that doesn't work out, then we have to. analyze more about the issue in the back end okay so this is all kind of learning so even when you are handling any sto process right you will get such such kind of errors if you don't get means you don't learn much right see material not subject to inventory management in plant 1562 check your input see even see the same data which is already done on which date 11 10 2020 so in this gap someone 
disturb, disturb the master data, then you will find this kind of errors. See, material not subject to inventory management in plant. So we need to check this error. How to handle? So this there is no plant for 15662 stock you in the metal master record. So I need to check then. If I double click on this material, this should be there in 1562. Okay, so any uh, plant data I need to check. The locations are maintained. Yeah, it's maintained. Three locations are there. Main storage here. So data is there. If not, I need to check like any setting is missing with ROH. ROH with 1562. Let me open OMS2. For a 1561, I need to check whether quantity and value update is done or not. If that is not that is not done, also we'll face an error. Many are like changing this existing standard only, so that is the problem we are facing. Okay. Here, if you select this and go to this option for 1561 and 1562, we should check the quantity and value update is maintained or not. If not, that issue will be there. It's taking longer time. Anyone able to analyze the issue which you are facing? Uh, shipping is not determining. Anyone are uh, able to identify what we are facing here in this group? I could see Sandeep. You can try the other server, sir. Nitin is there. Okay, other server we have it. One second, let me try with other server. Because the setup is not done already, right? Before only uh, given, but I don't suddenly someone change yeah. it. Okay, let me try with this server. But I don't remember. Shilpa, just can you share your uh, password? I think I know the password. Wait, I'll try with this. SAP? Okay. <laughs> SAP at 456, right? Ah, oh, yeah, sir. I think this is not working. User 3, 4 or 3, 2? Not caps, sir. Only small. I'm not sure whether that's no. This is the server, right? Which second we... One, sir. Second one, second one. That SAP only. Ah. OK. Try SAP. At... No, no, that, not that one. Uh, this only this just check once whether you are using the server this one only Shilpa quickly can you check it one second sir just right click and check the server access okay <clears throat> yeah, yeah. tell me last digit like this digit I hope this is only the server you are using 95 Ah, sir. 49207 895. 895, right. Okay, this is the only server. Let me try. User 34034, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, let me try. SAP at 456, right? Ah. Uh. Okay. okay, it's working. Let me try to get some. STO here. So it is taking more time. Sorry for that. So I'll take one more, one week data. Any any STO is there? We can take it because majorly nobody nobody will be changed in weekly basis, right? So we'll have a. Sorry, I'll make it. So you can mute the sales shipper from your end. Okay, I'll take the 641. I'll take one month data. Okay. So no one, no one took any STO here. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, we have one STO here. Let's try for this. Right, this is a way only. We will have a problem in production and all right. We have to take analysis of issue, then then how to fix it, what all the data got changed, then we'll give it a resolution. It's not like quickly we can analyze in a within hours, right? So it'll take more time. Okay, let me copy this and quickly I'll create a new view. Let me twenty one. Okay, now then see that the system is taking a few seconds to fetch data right in the backend. So it has to check whether this PO is uh, having any supply plan, demand plan, everything will be uh, taken. See, it is checking, checking like availability check. Now, if I close this, I'll close this option. So I can able to see the shipping tab is trigger, triggered. So like this, it should trigger. Okay, if, if you are doing any uh, new creation of you. If that is not going to trigger, then we need to check each and every configuration behind the system. Everything you should check. Customer master is triggering or not, or sales August is maintained or not. Then the shipping point, then delivery type, shipping conditions, everything need to be uh, checked. So uh, we'll we'll take up this uh, issue later. Uh, we can check like why it is not uh, shipping is not triggering. So that can be shared with others okay what was the solution how we can fix it okay so jivan or some other will take up this task okay quickly you can uh, find out the root cause even if i get time i will uh, sit and do that issue uh, to be solved okay let me check now okay everything is good no messages during po creation i'll save it okay now po got created stock transport order so now I'm going to create a delivery for this. So delivery will be created in where? So in demand only. Okay, VL10B. Then I'll add this PO number. So server is taking a little more time. Okay. So here you have to add this uh, PO number. Then remove this date. We are not sure which is the delivery date. So I'll, I'll remove this delivery date of this PO. And then I'll execute it. Okay, in the background system will understand, okay, uh, like whether to create a outbound delivery or not, whether uh, whether the stock is available or not, everything will be checking in the background. Okay, now you can see this is a line available. You can click on this background option, then delivery number will generate. So it is taking longer time because system will check all the availability check, whether stock is available in supply and or not. These all things will be checked because see, if you create delivery number without checking all that, so then that will be uh, delivery is like open uh, when they when supply plant will do a PGA, then uh, it will show some error. So to avoid system will check in the background, whether all the uh, stocks are available, everything will be checked. Okay, there will be program in the background which will go each and every information and it will fetch the data and it will get executed. If you find an error, then you will have another line that you can see the log. In the log, you can see whether stock is not there or any uh, availability check is not happening properly or MRP related things are there in the background, right? It will check everything. It is taking a little <clears throat> more time. Anyone want to add here? So in this time, so we are taking little taking, it is taking more time to uh, trigger the delivery number. Anyone want to ask any questions? You just ask it. Till now, whatever discussion happened, right? Uh, this delivery is a uh, Kishore here. Uh, yes, Kishore. This uh, delivery will be done uh, from the supplying plant, right? Uh, the delivery will be done in the outbound delivery. Yeah, that uh, the which is the shipping point. Yeah, the ship two is there, right? Ship to party, uh, yeah. delivery, or OBD, and all will be done in the uh, supply plant only. Supply plant. Yeah. So once you done, right? You have to open this uh, original document. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you are able to see the history here. 
see delivery generated on this date see 12 12 2020 okay one number we have requested then now we can go through this delivery uh, document number and we can do the changes changes in the sense whether to pick or not how many quantities to be supplied by clicking on this edit option Okay, picking then one number here we'll check this see you can check here okay and uh, wait uh, here pj is the option icon where you can check whether this can be pj if all the stocks available everything is good then this can be done see now you can see fully fit means c is the status fully fit see now system is saying posting only possible in periods uh, this this month okay because previous period only we have extended for the uh, company code how to uh, solve this we have to extend the uh, posting for, for period for this month i will show that also quickly i will make it display mode no okay i'll go to first i will show you how to check the uh, posting period open or not for the current period mmre is a transaction code just enter the company code NZ01 and then see this is only open for last two months. You cannot post the entry for this month unless you are going to open the period. This opening period will be taken care by SAP MM also or you can check with the finance team. In production, normally every month they will do that opening period. In case that is missed out for particular company code, then there will be ticket raised to the support team. They will take care of this uh, extension part. Okay, now I'll go to MMPV. So I'll enter the uh, company code NZ01. NZ01. Then I'm going to extend for uh, open for this month period. Okay, execute. Once you execute it, right? So you can uh, able to see company code. This is converted. So there is no error. If any error is there, you can able to see the log with the error. Okay. Now I can go to a delivery uh, change option. Then I can do the PJ. Now I don't think that issue will come because it is solved. Okay, now it is saying delivery has not yet been put away, picked completely. Okay, so I need to check here, picking quantity one number. Okay, once I picked, right, it will be C. Overall pick status will be C, means fully picked. If it is partially picked, then it's partially processed. Okay, if it is 10 numbers are there, you're picking only five numbers, it will show only partially picked. Okay, now I'm going to do PGA. Okay. Now the system is taking longer time means, okay, everything is processing. It is going to, uh, uh, there is a material document will generate. Once you do the PJ, right? So if I refresh this PO with 991, so you're able to see the material document which, which generated in the background. Okay, 641 is a movement type and this is a material document. So here you can able to see the, uh, the follow on documents. So uh, as I said, or what all the uh, debit and credit will happen in the supplying plan, right? You can click on FI documents. Then you can able to see this accounting uh, document. Then here you can see the 50 INR is the cost of that goods, okay? How this cost is uh, picked up, I will show that also from where it is picked up the, the cost. And the BSX is the transaction event key, which is hitting here. And what is the respect to a GL account, which is uh, considered here is, Three double zero five five zero. Okay, how to check that whether this is a respective GL account? I will show you one simple uh, process. Uh, go to MM zero three. Okay, just enter the material number. Okay, just copy the material from here. Enter zero one. Enter here. So now we are checking the accounting view of the supplying plant right so go to accounting view and take this plant details here nz01 or two we are handling here nz01 okay nz01 i'm going to select here and i'm going to show you the see valuation class is 3000 the price is we used here is moving price is 30 uh, sorry 50 which is fet fetched automatically from the metal master and the total stock which is available in that particular plant is 13. Okay, once uh, it was 14 before we have issued one number. So now it is showing us a 13 number with this much value. Okay, now how to check this uh, GL account? 
uh, go to OBYC. And here you should search with BSX and chart of account is standard is ANT. And here you should check the valuation class. For 3000 valuation class, what is the GL account is maintained here? So you're able to see this, right? So 300550, okay? For 3000, you have this entry, right? So that entry only you can able to see here. Okay, why this GL account is required? They should understand. They should know what all the inventory happening uh, or movement with respect to that material. If this uh, material is uh, in that raw material, okay, three thousand is a valuation class used. And how many material you are managing with the raw material only? For everything, one GL account, account will be there. In case you are handling few materials as a uh, raw material, uh, some uh, mechanical goods or some electronic goods, then you are going to again you can give multiple GL account for that material. Okay, uh, this session I will take in future if required. So today you, this is enough for you to understand the document which I already hit here. Now I will go and do the PGR. In the sense, I'm receiving the goods in receiving plant. Okay, supplying is done, transport has happened, I physically received that uh, material. Then I'm using here outbound delivery number. Okay, from where I'm just referring, I'm going with uh, the re receiving plant will have a hard copy which they received with the OBD. They just copy uh, the details from there only while receiving the uh, in, uh, uh, material. Okay, now I'll check the PU. Nine nine one. Here, Kishore here. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. Yeah. Once the outbound delivery is done, uh, then uh, way to you just told one transaction to to check the stock in transit. Yes, yes. I will. I will show you that. Okay. Oh. Once again. So MB five T is the transaction to see the uh, stock in transit. Okay. Here you should pass the material and just execute it. Okay. You are able to see here, right? One number is in transit, and this is the respect to PO number. Okay, so this is a transaction. You can see the uh, stock in transit. Okay, now we'll go and quickly do the MIGO transaction and select, selecting option is goods receipt here. Then outbound delivery is uh, the reference is like eight series, this one. And 101 is a moment where we are receiving the stock. Okay, so here you should select the which location. Already it is there, means it is copied from the PO or maybe from the outbound delivery. Okay, so in the outbound delivery, you should know how to check the uh, example I'll show you here. Go to VL03N and this is outbound delivery. Okay, in this right side, you can able to see the, uh, the store location for the goods, I think, right? Let me check in the goods moment. Picking. Okay, store location for the receiving plant. Okay, see, this is a issuing plant store location, NZ02. And from here, the stock will be uh, issued. Let me show you the receiving plant store location, how it is automatically coming in the MyGo screen when we enter the outbound delivery. See, here it is a plant store location. Let me check where exactly it is. Okay. Or let me open PO number in the PO. I need to check. Okay, someone is adding here. Sir, in the PO, we have entered uh, receiving plant and uh, yes, receiving. Yes. Ah, see, here we have entered uh, store location for the uh, receiving plant. So from there, System is understanding, okay, this is the location which we have to receive. So NZ01 is coming automatically, okay. So uh, the what uh, the physically they do is like uh, the end users or maybe the inventory keep uh, person, right? So they will just check everything based on the documentation. And even they can see which PO which is uh, raised everything, they can verify. Like this clicking on this, they can verify everything. Then they can do the PG, uh, PGR, like post goods received, okay. So check it then post it. Okay, now this is posted, metal document posted. If you come, come back and refresh here, right? The PU, the history will be available here. 
and you should know how to uh, reverse also in case pj is done done wrongly uh, then pgr is uh, done something okay so how to reverse and also you should know if you you cannot reverse pj immediately until unless gr is done okay like until unless you are not reversing the gr you cannot reverse the pj okay the reverse thing you should know how to reverse this then how to reverse delivery okay and then again you can do the pj okay so the reversal is 102 for uh, uh, gr and 642 for uh, uh, delivery a reversal of uh, so wait, let me make it here reversal of delivery will be done through vl09 okay example i'll show you how that reversal will be done just quickly slash n vl09 VL so here you should pass the delivery number i think it's like taking a longer time okay so here you should pass the delivery inbound or outbound delivery then execute hit uh, then select the line respective line and then you can reverse it here you can reverse it not doing here because if i do also it will show it's already gr is done if i click on this reverse course movement it will throw an error saying that already gr is done so you cannot directly reverse the pj part but let's see how the system will throw an error in real time production issue is there okay they are already done all the pga pgr is done but they are looking for some uh, reversal see reason has to be entered for movement type 642 okay so even this cannot be cancelled until unless gr is cancelled right so if you see this you can see the log also so how to reverse that you have to go to first uh, gr which is already posted first you reverse that document then you come back here in vl0 to 09 you can reverse the delivery you can try out in your system you practice that and you are able to uh, understand the process okay any questions do you have in this so if you have then we can quickly discuss or else we can catch up on next sunday uh, prashant one one question here kishore yes, here yes kishore yeah uh, we have done through 641 movement type right that means uh, the receiving plant uh, the demand plant uh, should do the gr if you do with the same uh, 647 there is no need to do the uh, gr right it will be directly received by the uh, receiving plant uh, there will be one step and two step process if you are managing one step process there is a configuration uh -huh. if you do that set setting then there is no gr process will be happened in the uh, separately that will be done uh, immediately whenever you do the pga from the uh, uh, supplying plant uh -huh. automatically there will be a gr will happen in the system okay yeah Okay, and uh, if you do the one-step process, there will not be any transit, also, right? We cannot say transit. Ah, uh, uh, there is no transit. Everything will be like done quickly. So, few okay. cases they will do that because they are sure that that goods is going to receive. Okay, there is no much uh, uh, problem. Then they go with the one step, uh, one step only quickly. Two step mm -hmm. is required because physically, if something happened, it's not reached your location. So mm -hmm. Then it's not good, right, to follow this kind of uh, yes. one-step process. Okay, depends on the business scenario you have to follow. Yeah. Okay, for sure. Sir, here a power mana PG. Yes, power mana. Sir, uh, in STB process, I am not getting a VLT in G, uh, VLT in B, uh, like a delivery creation tab. I am not getting the tab. Uh, is there any error or? So you are not able to create delivery through VLT and B, right? When you execute transaction. Yeah, yes. Sir. So that you need to check uh, in the system wise. So the some uh, stock issue will be there, or maybe availability check is not happening in the background. So need to check all that uh, things before uh, running the VLT and B. Okay. So check once uh, any uh, uh, transaction which is already happened in your system. Okay, with the reference to some. Uh, Uh, company code or maybe plant you just refer other document to create your own or structure process example you are running some or structure now right new organization structure with your own business process if you are facing some issue means you refer the old one if you are using server means you should refer the old uh, data which is already posted then from that you can compare the missing uh, information you got my point upon mana yeah yes okay refer it will work out you see we have done right it will work out yes sir i tried many times sir but uh, we created different different purchase order purchase orders also mm -hmm. 
who is the point of point of contact are you from like akshay is a uh, team like point of contact is akshay yeah yes yeah, akshay sir you just check with akshay only okay because th- this session is just i'm um, uh, transferring knowledge to uh, based on the process if you find any problem issues in the system please contact akshay to resolve it okay Yes, Madhu. Any questions from your yeah, end? Yeah, Prashant. Uh, Prashant, one quick question. Like, uh, even uh, for the STO, do you, is it possible to create directly the STO POs from the MRP? Uh, yes, it's possible. It's possible. It, through MRP also, you can generate uh, STO uh, PO. That, but respect to uh, the configuration settings should be done. Example, uh, see, uh, you are talking about to uh, supply and demand plant. So if you are managing that material always STO, okay, uh, then how the MRP view should be set up? Okay, in, in metal mash MRP view, you can see a supplying plant. You can add. See example, you are going to create a material. Okay, for example, thousand plant. Then thousand hundred is your supplying plant. Then you should maintain the data in MRP view only. Okay, this is the supplying plant. So the regularly they will supply the goods. Then you can maintain in that MRP view. and whenever stock uh, goes down in the demand plant then automatically how the uh, mrp should generate purchase requisition for sto should be handled okay so pr okay. should be created with the ub document type and the item created as u for intra if it is a inter sto then respective conf- configuration should be maintained okay okay yeah. thank you so jeevan can help on that maybe he is from uh, pp side production planning so if he is having any example uh how to generate the sto uh, in through mrp he can support okay jivan uh, if you have any scenario you are trying out with uh, this kind of scenario right just you uh, uh, work on this week please okay yeah okay sir so any questions from anyone so if not we can wind up then Uh, sir yes, yes krishna uh, sir uh, uh, when we do outbound delivery sir okay. uh, well 10b okay. and uh, before before doing post goods issue uh, where that material will be if we, if we check it in mb5t mm mm-hmm. uh, where that material will be, will be there sir it will be stock stock in transit or it will be in re- unrestricted ones unrestricted one only in the in the supplying plant yeah if there is no P, uh, pj is done Uh, yeah, even after, after, only, it'll go to stock after PGA only, it will go to stock in transit. Yes, thank you. No problem. And one tip to all, okay. So whenever you are doing any uh, process in SAP, okay, when you are running any transaction, imagine the process first, okay. Or you just do some uh, structure in your Excel. What, why, what material you are handling? Why you are doing that STO? So you just make sure. So business should be clear. Then only you run the STO or any other scenario. If you talk about consignment, also why you are going to consignment scenario? What type of material? So like that, you should imagine the process. Then only work on SAP. Then you'll understand much better. Okay. 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 Then good to uh, close it. Okay. Any any questions are there? You can drop it in uh, our group. or if your connection or your mentor or trainer guider is akshay just you touch base with akshay so just i he has just requested if you are interested to learn as a sto so then i thought of adding in this group okay thanks for joining so we'll catch up on maybe next sunday i'll be traveling uh, to mangalore uh, i'll be not available so i'll once i'm back in the month of jan 5th then i will continue this sunday session till that you just be in touch with the in our group okay take care all bye thank you thank you thank, thank you, you. No see you yeah bye bye yeah thank you sir bye sir no problem thank you bye